In 2021, I gained over 600,000 subscribers on YouTube thanks to you guys. And on TikTok, I doubled my followers from two to four million. And on Spotify, I released countless amounts of songs that you can stream everywhere now. What is up guys, welcome to my 2021 Rewind. In this video, you're gonna see a lot of moments that I've been through and that you guys might not have seen. So, welcome to my 2021 Rewind, guys. Buckle up, sit back, it's uh, it's gonna be a wild ride. We're gonna start off with my uh, my first, you know, big accomplishment. Um, it would probably be my fake love song and music video. And I guess there's a, there's a lot of reasons why this is, you know, one of my biggest accomplishments. I think it would probably be because it was my first song that I ever wrote. It was my first song that I had a, uh, a big feature on. Shout out to Lokel. I think it was my favorite experience that I had. The perfect way to start off a new year, you know what I mean? But the music has only gotten better and I, we're gonna dive deeper into that as we uh, as we go on. But And then so the next biggest thing, I actually flew to uh, North Carolina, Charlotte, to have a meeting with uh, the record label South Coast Music Group, which was a big opportunity of mine and just a big, you know, big accomplishment for me uh, music-wise because I think towards the end of the year, I've really started to, you know, make music a big priority. I mean, music has always been a big priority in my life, but um, I think I really started to just kind of like really, really go at it. So um, it was really exciting. I met with Arnold Taylor and uh, King Carter. The kitchen, I love it. <laughs> Shout out. Don't laugh. <laughs> <laughs> those, are, those are two completely different records, you know what I'm saying? I like both of them. You know? <laughs> and it's one of the things that it'll have like a, a different type of effect on people. Like people that just start walking up to people, Shorty! You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> and it, and it's it's catchy. Throw, yeah, the catchy. Get this on the camera, right. it will go viral, Brian. Yeah. <laughs> and you know, I think just the experience overall, the uh, the emotions, the the hospitality that everyone showed, and the studio time that I got to spend there, and all the all the amazing things that were happening. It was just such an exciting and meaningful moment. So fast forward a little bit. I think one of the uh, one of the other big parts that was a big change of my of my life was moving, moving out of two different houses. So uh, I moved out of the content house and I'm moved out of my old house. And now we're here, obviously I'm super blessed. I wouldn't be able to obtain or, you know, even be able to look at any of this stuff without you guys' help. So you guys, you guys who are watching this right now are the whole reason that I, I'm even able to have anything that I do right now. Also, I have already made a lot of great memories here, which I probably never thought I would have made. So, I guess I owe it all to you guys. So, keep following and keep Keep, uh, keep tagging along on the journey, because it's only up from here. I lost a lot of people for sure. I'm definitely happy that I got some some new friends and I got you know a solid group right now. I wouldn't even call them friends. I think I got a, a solid uh, <laughs> group of family around me. But it was hard, you know, moving houses, losing friends, and just learning how to adapt with myself. We're doing the chapstick challenge. Why are you today. hugging me? You just complained about me hugging you. This is the thumbnail, ready? Uh, a big uh, rough part as well <clears throat> of losing people, not necessarily losing people because she's actually like literally at my house right now. Uh, me and Coco, you guys know, you guys know a lot about her, obviously. I think right when I moved into this house, we went through like a very bumpy, bumpy road. I mean, we always have been, we've always been super on and off, but um, I think the relationship was just like, you know, we were really young. We both had a lot to uh, learn and experience for ourselves. Um. I think we've done a lot of great things together, and we've helped each other a lot. And I think we've only, we, we only, I, I mean, a year you I can learn so things. much about yourself and, and others around you. So yeah, that's 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 what I mean when I say we 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 learned a lot. We're we're good friends now. We're, we're just enjoying our lives, having fun, making the most out of every day like it was our last. You know, like I said, so so many so many things were going on in my head during these periods. So I, I was really prone to writing music and I was, I was, it was almost like I was an addiction. I was, I was addicted to writing music about my emotions because I mean, I, that's what the, that's how you make the best art. You know, that's how you create the best music or just the best things. A lot of my songs that I've written, a lot of inspiration comes from heartache and, uh, and pain and confusion of the mind. I decided to take a little vacation. I went to Costa Rica with Parker 
and my family. Um, and we, we just had, we had a really good time. It was kind of an escape, you know. I think Coco was actually supposed to go on that trip too, but we, we literally had gotten to a sudden fight. And I think that actually made, that trip made me realize so much about myself. Bruh, this is a big house. Um, I recommend if you, if you want to find out a lot about yourself, just go on a little isolation, go on a, a trip. <laughs> and I did film a little mini music video there, so that was cool. I hope, I hope to release that song soon. Me and my ex-girlfriend had a reunion after not seeing each other for like two years. It kind of shocked a lot of the fans. It's really fun though, you know, working with her though, because I get to work with her now on a weekly basis, so it's really cool working with her. She's, she's a great person. I wear socks to bed, which I think people think that's weird I, or something. That, I, but that is it's a little weird. It's weird. But yeah, it was, it, was, it was a great thing that I did this year. I think it was one of my favorite things I did this year just because it opened up so much more. For like me, my my supporters, and my 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 brain, you know, creativity, you know, we, we create a lot of good content together. So I think it was it was a great thing that happened for sure. And then uh, shortly after I reunited with Piper, I did a song, I did a crushing remix. She was in the music video. If you guys don't know, one of my most popular songs, uh, crushing. She was in. We did a music video shortly after we reunited. I think that was a, a weird experience because it was almost like I was reliving two years ago, you know? It wasn't something that you just expect to do again. It was a cool thing and I, I think a lot of you guys enjoyed it. If you guys haven't seen that, go check it out. It's on my YouTube channel. Switching the subject a little bit. This is just kind of like what happened throughout the year. I had a, a really bad state. Still working on it, actually. Um, I definitely went through uh, a kind of rough stage of happiness, struggling with happiness. What are you doing? Uh, a rough stage of happiness. Um, it was, it was, you know, kind of throughout the years, losing friends that I was really close with, losing people that I never thought would leave me, and it just kind of puts you in like a really unmotivated, unhappy, and groggy state. Like so unmotivated to do anything. Like I was waking up at like 12 p.m. every day. I was, I wasn't doing anything. So. It was, it was definitely kind of a rough, a rough period. I, I, I would advise everyone who ever feels low or feels like they're going through something, you're not doing it alone. Everybody feels that way, everybody has their days, everybody has their years, their moments. It's just all about finding what makes you happy and not letting go of hope. Sometimes it just gets the best, you know, a human can only handle so much. I also, I, I changed a lot, you know, with my music too. I kind of went from being a little singer to you know doing what I really love, which is you know rapping, you know more like the melodic, the rap space. It was a big switch up. You know, I went from doing you know a lot of covers, a lot of singing to what I'm doing now, which is what I enjoy. Found myself as an artist, as a as a person, which made me you know a lot better musically. So that was something really important and big that I that I did this year. As you guys know, I've dropped a lot of music that's a lot different and that you guys seem to, you know, obviously enjoy a lot more. If you guys haven't heard my music, you can click the link in the description. Um, I would definitely recommend go listening to it, but um, it, it definitely opened me up to a lot of more opportunities too. Just, um, just a lot more opportunities for my music and my career. Once again, wouldn't be possible without you guys, you know, supporting it and listening to the music. That's why I try to do my best every time I'm putting out something. You know, I never want to do anything without 100% effort. So if I'm, if I'm gonna do anything for you guys, I wanna give it my all. Speaking of music, I did a, I did a collab with Pop Hunter, uh, which was really cool. I don't know when the, when the release date is or what's happening with it, but we did a song. I went to New York, we shot a little music video. That was a cool experience. We could pop up a picture of me in the rain with Pop. It was a really cool thing, and uh, it was definitely a fun experience. It was super stressful, but man, was it fun. I also completed one of my dreams. Um, I performed at Rolling Loud. Also, big shout out to Pop Hunter for bringing me on. I got to perform at Rolling Loud, which is definitely like a crazy, crazy, crazy experience. You know, not a lot of people of my age get to do that. So I'm definitely super thankful and super blessed. It was funny too, because a few weeks before that, I I went to a Trippy Red concert, and then at Rolling Loud, I was backstage at a Trippy Red concert. Like I was literally, like with him. It's just crazy how things can happen so fast. Another big change that happened was, uh, you know, moving out of the content house. A lot changed with my groups and my content. So uh, Goat Fan LA actually changed a lot, and we uh 
we, we kind of revamped it. That was like a really cool thing that we did. You know, we just, we were able to kind of find what was right for us and what we feel is good. And you guys seem to be enjoying it. Go, uh, if you're not actually subscribed to that channel, I would highly recommend going and uh, checking it out. It's, it's kind of like, it's like the real me. The real Gavin on a daily piece. Um, you know, it's it's like my family. It's like my family members. <laughs> Yo, y'all look so good. Do you like, do you like the girls on the front and the guys? The picture, I'll be like, Merry Christmas, I'm single. <laughs> <laughs> Someone that I can consider, you know, family. You know, I consider all these, all those people family just because of how loyal they are and how appreciative they are. I think that's what I was missing in my life was appreciation. And to kind of end off the year, we did a little bit of giving back. We, yeah, we went to a, like a farm. The organization is TM Healing Horses. Um, and we, yeah, we, were, we were able to donate $1,000 to the foundation, you know, helping animals, helping children just for the holidays, so it was it was a really cool thing to do. We got to hang out with a bunch of cool animals and do uh, goat yoga. <laughs> <laughs> oh, ow! India, how you rock, <laughs> All right, so this is it. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let's make 2021 our year. You guys are the only Let's ones. Make 2022. Huh? Don't you mean 2022? 2022, guys. 2022 is going to be our year, so in order to keep that phrase going in the universe, I need you guys to help me, and I need you guys to keep on supporting me, keep on subscribing, telling all your friends. Guys, listen, 2022 is going to be our year, not just my year, but your guys' year, because everything I do, I owe it all to you, and it's all because of you, so 2022, I'm here, get ready, oh, and cue the montage. As I reflect on 2021, I remember nothing lasts forever, not even the previous year. I've only lost some friends and learned some lessons about life, but also gained a whole new group of amazing people and a new perspective on what a true friendship should look like. I guess that's just a part of growing up. I consider myself blessed, not only to be where I am, but to be able to influence and help all of you guys as we go on this journey called life together. Always remember, it's okay to not be okay. As I finally put 2021 to rest, I make myself and all of you this promise. 2022 will change everything. Keep watching. Love, Gavin.